Everybody, it's me, Swan Johnson, and today we'll be doing Baltimore Ravens Connected Franchise Series. Last episode, we traded for Marquis Pouncey, T.Y. Hilton, and we traded for a guy named um, Luke Kuechly, and that's it, really. The rest are just backups. So, let's get into trading. So far, we need a left guard, a right tackle, and possibly a new right outside linebacker. I'm gonna keep Brian Williams. I might keep Jonathan Hankins. We're not. We're gonna upgrade our free safety just right now though, because I put the, him there. Um, I might put Dominic back to corner and then get rid of Brandon Carr. I'm not sure. Let's go to trade center. And we'll see. So we, we still have Willie Snee on the team, so you can trade away Willie Snee or Dead Bright if you won't really wanted to. Alright, so we're going to get rid of Joe Flacco. Any team that... Or any team that wants a quarterback, the Giants do. Hmm. Alright, let's see something else. Are the Giants the only team interested in... Yeah, okay, so the Giants are the only team interested in Joe Flacco. So, who is y'all's quarterback? I know it's Eli. That's why. It's 76 overall quarterback. I see why now. Alright, so who are we going to trade for? They have snacks on their team. Let's try snacks. And it's our scheme fit, too. Bro, we want to get snacks. Bro, we want to get snacks by a breeze, bro. We want to get snacks with a breeze. We'll trade away Gus Edwards, I guess, maybe? No, we're not, not going to lose it. Um, let's get rid of the 7th round draft pick for next year. I don't want to give it too much, so that's why I'm like, eh. And then we'll get rid of James Hurst. These two players, oh, they are interested in him. No, I don't want to do that. How about... That guy and this guy. But these two players for, for Damien Harrison. And it was accepted. So we basically got basically nothing for Harrison. This is like that one guy I just can't go wrong with. And he's in the red. Ooh, that's not good. Let's try TJ Mosley. The green. We need one more guy. We need one more guy, dude. Would y'all want Dez by any chance? Oh my god, we just got Ezekiel Elliott, bro. This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that one. He'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And down he'll go at the 25. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. I'm going to switch like a different type of play, but this is not a hurt. Throwing on third down. Look. And in complete, the contact made the ball roll yeah, free and brings really up know. fourth down. So now here in the second now week of the preseason, you'd expect the starters play a little bit more than they did in week one, but yeah, not yeah, yeah. So if you're an Put offensive ball, coordinator, yeah. what are you looking for? What you're looking for is things getting cleaned up as you go along because most of your playbook's probably installed. How well are they handling it? Easy in and out of the huddle? No mental mistakes? Are they starting to look like a good offensive football team? Jackson right. and the Ravens come up now first and ten. Deep, We're to eat the deep. There's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. They're trying to quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally 
and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Elliott. And that oh, play going absolutely oh, nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss. Is Antoine Woods? Hold up, hold up. Is, it, is that Antoine Woods? He was on the Cowboys, too. Don't tell me how he is, bro. Oh, it's Al Woods. Okay. We have a guy named Anton Woods. On the play. On the and it'll be third and ten. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Go on! Play action. It's Jackson. And bro, he brought down it. by the Colts. Jabal Sheard coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it'll be fourth down. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and the line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, there are silly, and it leads to a play action sack. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Oh. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great oh. opportunity to run your full oh. playbook. They want to take a shot here. They can go ahead and do it. Call it a gain of five, and that'll make this a second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Luck looks to throw on third and one. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. You know, during these preseason games, we're in week two right now. It's always funny looking at our spot charts up here in the booth because with all the guys that might play in this one, it seems to get bigger and bigger each year. Yeah, we pretty much supersize them, don't we? Because, you, you know, remember, they're carrying 90 now. And with the new rules, they'll carry 90 all the way through the preseason before they make the final cut. Oh, yeah, a lot of guys to learn for these games. Here's Jackson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jabal Shear. Dropping for his second sack now here tonight. Man, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. Come on, with a screen soon. Carrying one deep for Crabtree. Nope. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on. Third down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. There's Jackson on third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. Kayvon Webster on the defensive side, able to get a hand in. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feel pretty good because he's out there all the time. First quarter only, but they're over two on third down conversions to start this thing. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A run by Mack to start the drive. And right, he'll only get a team. yard, maybe two, up to the 46. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense, and at times, why well, should make checks? Just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. Yeah, man. They definitely were on that yeah, play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. There's Locke. And they can find John Brown. And he's got this down to the 35. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. 
And he went in route there from the slot mm -hmm. for the completion. Oh, oh, Love how he runs his routes because okay. it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder no. fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately yeah, for him, a couple more downs to play with. One yard, the official pick up there, so it's going to set up third and nine. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Game. keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. So with fourth down coming up, here's Adam Vinatieri now for the Colts field goal. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And Vinatieri's kick yeah, is good. Yeah. And the Colts hit the scoreboard first. It's 3 nothing. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting yeah, something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of times without getting a first down. And then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Kayvon Webster there to make the tackle. This one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. And he'll get this up past the 25 before. Go again. Fourth and nine. Touchdown. Oh, Ravens. We get the ball back. And we get a field goal. And by 17, get another touchdown. Another touchdown. Uh, I'm going to play here. See how you can improve your team. Face the one on one Dolphins next week. This will be the last prison game. And then we we'll went on to the other things. So. So Greg Wilson's out for the season. Darn. Alright, so we're out to replace early no bounders. Later Browners trash, bro. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Like absolute crap, bro. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. We will do another video tomorrow. Coming out on Tuesday. This feels fellas next time. Peace. Always stay gold.